So I recently did a review on the Behringer Crave and I thought I'd complete that and carry it on with uh, my thoughts on the Behringer Neutron. This also has the CEM3340 clone, the uh, V3340. It's got two of them. Um, and despite the vintage Moog knobs, the Neutron, it's totally original synth. As I mentioned before, I'm a big fan of those um, CEM 3340s that were used. In, in fact, the Cool Audio versions were used in the OBX, the Jupiter 6, the Prophet 5, the SH101, and, and many, many others. They really were great, great um, oscillator chips. One of the good things I like about this is the audio in. Um, it adds to the source of the oscillator mix, and it's then routed through the fil filter section. The filter is a Moffat two-pole uh, 12 decibel per octave. Although it runs really, really hot and you'd actually think it was a 24. Because it will it will self-oscillate, which is, you know, as, as you know, it's unusual for a lot of 12 decibels. Um, it's a really, really hot filter. And you can kind of tone that down slightly by running it through one of the attenuators. It gives you a little bit of control. You can kind of dial that down. Another great thing, obviously, is the patch bay on these, the 56-point patch bay, which, which is just great for just rerouting any of the workflow, although the workflow on this, the layout is great. It, it makes sense. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a good synth to use. It's a nice, easy synth to use, and it sounds just fantastic. The three filter modes, they're all based on 12 decibel per octave, um, but like I say, you'd, you'd hardly know. The LFO by default through the internal patching controls the filter cutoff and the adjustable mod depth rather than just the rate. It's pretty cool, um, as is being able to blend the wave shapes on the LFO. It's also worth noting that envelope 2 by default controls the envelope of the frequency cutoff too. Again, having its own separate independent depth control. The filter itself is crazy and often pushes itself out of audible range. Um, but a good tip here, like I say, is, is to patch the signal to the attenuator, just like dial it down somewhat. Another great addition is the Bucket Brigade, Bucket Brigade Delay. This particular one has 8192 steps. Um, it's very, very noisy though, which is kind of typical for Bucket Brigades. It produces a fantastic array of effects though, not just delay, um, although it can be quite fiddly to play with and like I say, noisy. For its price, it's just phenomenal and a great build quality. Without doubt, the Neutron um, was a turning point in Beridge's previous poor reputation. The layout follows a work, uh, logical workflow, like I mentioned, which is always a big plus for me. I often get distracted and I hate having to kind of hunt around for controls. Um, I also love the fact it's so rackable. I've got two of these now. One I keep in a rack and one I kind of, that's a rack, not I rack. And one that I kind of just drag around spare in a, in a carrier bag of all things because it's, it's it's pretty solid. It's built like a tank. I really do like the, the structure of it. I don't know many people who own just one Neutron, but I do know quite a few who own more than one. Many, many good points and like not many bad ones at all, apart from, you know, the filter being hot, but that's dealable. 
the delay um, can be a pain it can really be a pain and it does leak a lot of noise out through it I haven't used the level on the overdrive as well which just seems like a design fault other than that they're great they're just fantastic um, and yeah those oscillators and two of them and just being able to wave shape them which can you can also change this um, so that they're they're fixed rather than morphing it's a fantastic synth highly recommended still loving it um just like i said just got the second one and looking forward to getting the third i really want to tie all these things together they're, they're just incredible thanks anyway please um, like subscribe all the usual much appreciated